there's a book for every mood, don't you think? When I feel down, I like to read books about people with problems worse than mine. It makes me just feel better about my situation, and I can appreciate what's going right in my life instead of focusing on what's wrong. When I feel disconnected to the world, I like to read books that make me feel connected, and stories that inspire me and make me want to be a better person to those around me. Wonder by R.J. Palacio came to me at the exact perfect time. It has inspired me immensely, and I'm excited to share a little bit about this book with you all today. I want you to imagine it's your first day of school. You're going to a brand new school, the first you've ever attended because you were homeschooled up until now, and it's fifth grade. I want you to imagine walking with your brand new backpack and school clothes into a room of dozens and dozens of kids that you don't know. People are giving you funny looks, you feel awkward and out of place, you feel scared and alone, and you just want to go home. I know you all know what that feels like. Whether it's a first day at school, or a strange place, or a party of strangers, it takes courage to deal with a situation like that. Now imagine that you are August Pullman, or Augie as he calls himself. Augie is in that exact situation, except kids not only stare, they bring their hands over their mouths in horror. They nudge each other and talk behind cupped palms. They turn around with surprised faces and walk in the opposite direction. Augie was born with what's called craniofacial abnormalities. He has a deformed face and has had countless surgeries in his short life to try and correct his appearance, but he still looks very different than most of us. His eyes are a little low on his face. He has no real ears and his mouth is much smaller than it should be. But inside, Augie is just a normal kid. He's a little short and kind of geeky. He loves Star Wars and video games. He has a very sarcastic sense of humor and a sly wit. Wonder is about Augie's fifth grade school year. It chronicles his fears and struggles among his new classmates and teachers, as well as his life at home with his very supportive but a little overprotective parents and older sister. He makes a few new friends, questions some of his friends' real motives, and dodges the school bullies while trying to ignore the odd looks and rude comments as best as he can. But Augie is an old pro at being noticed. The author writes through Augie's perspective. It's like people you see sometimes, and you can't imagine what it would be like to be that person, whether it's somebody in a wheelchair or somebody who can't talk. Only I know that I'm that person to other people, maybe to every single person I meet. To me, though, I'm just me, an ordinary kid. But Wonder presents a character in Augie that really is anything but ordinary. Augie has tremendous wisdom and courage for someone his age. He's had some struggles, but has learned so much about other people and himself. Wonder is partially written through Augie's perspective, but alternates chapters with other characters' points of view as well. There are chapters from his 14-year-old sister Via's point of view, as well as friends like Summer and Justin. So by alternating perspectives, the author allows us to see not only through Augie's eyes, but to see how Augie influences the people around him. Augie's not perfect. He can be oversensitive and has a hot temper. He doesn't always say the right thing, but he has a tremendous impact on those around him during that one school year. To quote the author and Augie again, The best way to measure how you've grown isn't by inches or the number of laps you can now run around the track or even your grade point average though those things are important to be sure. It's what you've done with your time, how you've chosen to spend your days, and whom you've touched this year. That, to me, is the greatest measure of success. Augie touches a lot of lives over the course of his fifth grade school year, and an event occurs at a school field trip that causes some of his bullying classmates to think twice about Augie and their own behavior. The need for kindness is a major theme throughout his book. And Augie's teacher quotes Dr. Wayne Dyer in front of the class. When given the choice between being bright or being kind, choose kind. Wonder by R.J. Palaccio exemplifies that message. Mm -hmm.